Hi guys, welcome to another video of the weekly trading idea. This is Walid speaking and in today's video, we will analyze AUDUSD using technical and fundamental analysis. As a recap of our last week's video, we were bearish on the Canadian dollar against Japanese yen. But as you can see, the setup didn't go well. If you go to the four hour time frame, price closed below this pennant and went down more than 60 pips. So it was in profit for 60 pips, but then price went up. So always put your stop loss at break even at entry point when you are plus 50 pips and above. Because your first objective in trading is to secure your account and then to look for profits. And as for the future of this pair, until the trend is remain in play, this pair is still bearish. Unless price closes above this trend. Now let's move to this week's trading idea. This week we'll talk about the AUD USD. Looking at the economic calendar this week, the most important news on the AUD is the employment report. Also, we have the unemployment rate, which is expected to rise to 8.3%. And the nation is expected to lose around half million jobs. So the AUD might trend lower ahead of this event. Also, it's important to mention that U.S.-China trade tensions have escalated, so this is bad for the commodity currencies like AUD. If you are up to date with the market, you will notice that the AUD is strongly correlated with the Dow Jones. Let's go to the U.S. 30. As I mentioned before, they say sell in May and go away. This month might be bad for the stock market, but the sell-off won't be triggered until price close below this channel. Notice how AUD is very similar to the US 30. On the long-term bias, if this channel is broken to the downside, expect AUD to rally to the downside. A lot of people are asking why the stock market is trending up while the employment report is very bad and the nation lost more than 20 million jobs last month. To be honest, Market is not stupid, but it's all about timing. Remember, with the previous crash, it didn't happen until everybody gave up on shorting the stock market. So let's go to the AUD USD chart. Speaking technical analysis, as you can see, market corrected after the sharp down move from the crash around 61.8% and even more. We have two important things on the watch list for the AUD. The closing for today, because if we close below the opening of Friday at 0 0.649, this might be an engulfing, bearish engulfing. Very good sign for sellers, which might trigger a sell to the support at 0 0.64, which will be our next watch list, because a break for this support might trigger big sell-off on the AUD, because this could be a reversal pattern, a double top. And a break below it might expose next support levels at around 0 0.627. Of course, for this to happen, US 30 should be breaking to the downside. I'm not saying that it's necessary to sell AUD only when Dow Jones is down. But this correlation will help us to set the right timing. In such cases, it's very good to hold small position, a small portion of our trade long term, because the sell-off might continue to the, to the lows. So I always prefer to hold a portion of my position long term and secure the rest. So as a recap, we will watch the closing to trigger the support and then we'll watch the support for its potential breakout. So that is it for me this week. Thank you guys for listening and I will see you next Monday.